Uh, we now move on to the next debate, media sexism. I call member Caroline Lucas. Thank you very much, Mr Hood. It's a pleasure to serve under your uh, chairmanship. There are a few things more important than ensuring that every member of our community feels safe in their own home, in their own workplace, community and school. Sadly, for far too many women and girls in the UK, this is simply not the case. And there is strong evidence that media sexism is playing a significant contributory role. I want to start by outlining some of the consequences of the fact that objectifying women has become so normalised in our society before exploring the extent and nature of media sexism as well as what action is required. Because the shocking facts are that here in Britain 60,000 women are raped every year. Two women a week are killed by a partner or ex-partner. Sexual harassment in our schools, communities and workplaces is routine. In Brighton and Hove, home to my constituency, an estimated 11,000 women experience physical and emotional violence every, each, every year. And last year, over 2,700 women experienced sexual assault. Now, the city's new strategy for prevention offers valuable insights into the way that violence is normalised. Order. Noting Order. that... Can I tell them, Member, there's uh, standards of dress that members must comply with. Uh, both in the House and in Westminster Hall. Uh, and I would ask the Honourable Member to respect that and uh, put her jacket on that she had when she came on. Back on, please. I will, Mr Hood, of course comply with your ruling, but it does strike me as a certain irony that in this place you can get copies of The Sun. Perhaps I could even show you what's in The Sun. In order, eight places, order, order, in order, eight places in this order, house, you can get order, this magazine. Order. I am not commenting on what the, the member may wish to say in the debate. I'm only addressing uh, the appropriate means of address. If she does that, then she can carry on with her speech. Caroline Lucas. Thank you, Mr. Hood. I was simply going to say it does strike me as an irony that this T-shirt is regarded as an inappropriate thing to be wearing in this house, whereas apparently it is appropriate for this kind of newspaper to be available to buy in eight different outlets on the Palace of Westminster Estate. 